Welcome viewers to my video. This is Pumpkin X, and I have for you today a uh, Star Wars review. Uh, I'm not a big Star Wars buff, but from time to time I find some of their designs really interesting and really cool. So I picked this one up. It's the set number 75088 Senate Commando Troopers. Contains 106 pieces. Um, this was $12.99 at my local Lego store. Uh, I, I really like the, the blue on these figures. At one point, I think you could only buy, you could only get these guys in like a, in a big, it's a pretty expensive set. And there was like only two of them. So I'm, I'm happy that they did a, a, uh, an army pack for these guys. Anyways, here's a product shot in the front. And that's the actual set of the, of the captain. Uh, you'll notice the captain has those special white markings on his armor. And there's the one in the back. You get you get 20 of those blue studs and four blasters. And that special one that's for the commander. Or the or the captain. Um, not much in the bottom and the sides. Um and there's just the group shot of them forward. Anyway, um let's take a closer look of the build itself and the figures, especially. And here we have the Senate Commando uh, all assembled together. Let's take a look at the Captain first. I suppose these guys appear in the cla uh, the Clone Wars TV series. I never watched that, so I wouldn't know much about these guys. So what makes the Captain stand out the most is... Well, he's got a buildable shooter, so sort of. You just add this faucet piece in the side, uh, in the back. And there are white printings on, on this guy. And there's some gray bits in the side of the helmet. And he's got a unique face underneath the helmet. He's got that regular look on his face. <clears throat> Other than that, all these three are similar. Uh, no special printing on these guys. Not that they need it. They're, they look cool enough as they are. As it is. And they just have that regular clone trooper face. Uh... No printing on the back either. Well, it's not nothing special. Just these uh, regular uh, pattern or design of their suits. And so I give the other one, this other stud shooter to that guy. Because this one's piloting the gun cert, the automatic. Well, sort of automatic. You, you, everybody knows how to work this already. Uh, just rotate this and all those studs f shoot and fly. Um, no control panels here. I guess this uh, clear clear piece is supposed to be like a computer, I suppose. And then you can move these legs up and down however you want to. Uh, and this rotates freely. And this gun turret moves up or down. And there's a clip here in the back for the gun if you're not using it. So it's a neat little battle station piece. Twelve ninety nine at my local Lego store. I don't. I'm sick. Of, I'm sick of see, seeing all those clone troopers all white, and they almost have very similar print, printing on the face. These guys stand out really well, as you can see. And they're all blue, so that's really nice. Uh, like I said earlier, um, I think the first time you could, first time around, you could only get two of these guys in the, in a the much more expensive set. So I'm glad they released a four pack, and one of them has that. Nice printing, additional printing on them. They they look like Roman gladiators or centurions, rather than Star Wars. Like they're like, that's how uh, futuristic centurions would look like, or Roman soldiers. In any case, if you like Star Wars, even if you don't like Star Wars, you just like unique looking uh, minifigures. I recommend picking these guys up. Uh, so, you know, there's you won't lose any in twelve ninety, and that's that's a getting four figures in that nice little build it's it's a bargain so anyways uh click like if you enjoyed my video please subscribe and um, share my videos don't forget to check my channel for my other reviews and i'll see you in my next one have a good one guys